Army continues to field units capable of highly mobile operations like light infantry, present-day feeding systems will require re-evaluation in order to fit into the new streamlined unit concept. In October 1983, the need to develop a simple, lightweight system of heating tea rations was identified. Natick Research Laboratories was tasked to develop prototypes of the company-level field feeding kit, Cliff K. An operational test of the Cliff K was conducted in August 1984 by Team 3 of the Combat Developments Experimentation Center. The purpose of the test was to provide data on the operational effectiveness and suitability of the Cliff K. Cliff K is designed to support company size light infantry units where centralized field feeding support is not available. These units must operate without field kitchens or from dispersed field locations. Able to be transported by a Humvee, CUCV, or larger vehicle, Cliff K can be unloaded and set up by two personnel and operated by only one food service individual. 150 complete tea ration meals, to include beverages, can be prepared in less than two hours. This capability will provide the light infantry unit with one hot tea ration meal per day. The Cliff K consists of eight major components two M2, M2A burner units, a pot cradle assembly, 10 and 15 gallon cooking pots and covers, a heater cabinet, beverage dispensers, two insulated food transports, and a work serving table. Cliff K OT2 was conducted in three phases. The first phase consisted of training cooks, maintenance personnel, test evaluators, and data collectors to familiarize them with the Cliff K. Phase two was conducted in conjunction with a seven-day field training exercise, FTX, performed by the 3rd of the 17th Infantry at Fort Hunter Liggett, California. The Cliff K was used within the constraints of the RTEP exercise and evaluated in accordance with organizational and operational plans drawn up by the Quartermaster School proponent. The operational phase of the test explored a series of issues that included the mission performance, reliability, availability, and maintainability of the system, the logistical adequacy of the system in meeting user requirements, the operator-maintainer training requirements, personnel staffing adequacy, the tactical survivability and transportability of the system, and with observed human factor elements. All data was collected manually and by the Data Management Center. Collected data was then identified, assembled, and logged. Objective data included time requirements for various operational tasks, quantities and types of supplies used, meteorological measurements, site and equipment descriptions, player evaluator demographics, maintenance requirements, and infrared analysis of the test site. Subjective data included the ease of setup, operation, breakdown and cleaning, safety factors, adequacy of supplies and maintenance equipment, and acceptability of the tea rations to the soldiers. Two additional field feeding methods were also examined under the same conditions and issues as the Cliff K. Remote food carriers, RFC, were designed to transport tea rations to soldiers in remote areas. For soldiers in the field, the individual dismounted ration heating device, DRHD, was designed to heat MREs and water for soup and hot beverages. The data package compiled by CDEC, Team 3, the Scientific Support Services Company, and the Quartermaster School will assist the Army in determining the best field feeding method, a method that will reduce combat food service requirements for labor, water, fuel, and food preparation time while increasing mobility, flexibility, responsiveness, and food acceptability by the soldier.